All right, welcome back to Site Tech Inner Mountain, SiteWorks training videos. Let me go through the process of recording points on a job site. You can see this multifamily project that I've got here, quite large. Um, out here, I'm standing in an area where the asphalt's already been paved. It was just paved. Another contractor should have recorded where the water valves and manholes were. But let's take a situation where you have been asked to go out and record where the laterals have been, the sewer laterals, water, where the water uh, mains are, where the hydrants are, whatever it may be, you've been asked to record those. What you need to start with is by going into your menu button, going to project setup and change project. And you wanna make sure that you've got a work order set up for what you're doing if you wanna keep it separate from other things. The only one that I have in, right here, in here right now is the calibration for when we calibrated the job site. But I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna create a new one. And I'm gonna call this uh, utility as builds. If you want to put the date, it's not a bad idea too, unless you're just going to keep a bunch of as builds for multiple days on here. But I'm going to put the date, which is uh, 5 4 23. So I'm going to do that. Now, here's the other thing is if you want to be able to see all the other design line work, have cut fill. Um, along with you as you go you could turn the design on you can also leave it as no design you, It's not associated to the design as you record points So we can do it two different ways and I'll show you both ways. So we'll leave it as this project Utility as built 5 4 23 and no design. So as we come back to the main screen, it will be a blank screen It'll show where we're at. I have tilt compensating enabled at this point point. So now I'm just floating around out here in the space. There's nothing out here, which is okay. Let's go ahead and record a couple points. So over here, it looks like I've got a sewer lateral. And I know that this isn't shooting at where it was actually down in the ground. But right where this board is, if there's a chance that it's going to get wiped out, we can go ahead and shoot this. So I'm going to go ahead and set up on it. And on your main screen, under where the guy is standing right there, there's this icon, which I call the roller stuck in the mud. If you go into it, it's your measure type. It's the one where it gives us points, existing line, and new line. We're gonna do a point. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and name it. And keep in mind that between point name and point code is a big difference on how much you can type out. In point name, you can only put 15 characters and it's gonna end. In point code, you can type out a whole bunch. So right here, I'm gonna call this a sewer ladder or a sewer uh, board we'll call it that just because that's what it actually is out here in the point code if you want to you don't have to you could put it's a sewer um, lateral end whatever you guys need now right here for point type i do not want this to be a surface it defaults to a surface it's still going to shoot a northing easting in an elevation but it's gonna give me a blue or black square on the screen because you can shoot it as a point that'll be able to be surfaced out, but I don't wanna do that. I just want it to be a feature code. We're gonna do feature and you can leave this show every time on to yes. If you want, every time you hit the enter button for it to bring you back in here to name it, or you can change that to no. I prefer to turn it to no. Now, I will just show you a couple shots here, and then I'm going to show you what this create port report means if we want to check that box on a couple others. But right now, I'm not going to. I'm going to hit accept, and right where I'm at, I can do it a couple different ways with my TSC7. I can either hit the blue plus on the screen. I can hit the enter button on the side right here or the OK, which is basically in the middle of here. Well, however you want to do it. I have a habit of just hitting the enter button. So... Right now, as I move off just a little bit, you'll see there's an icon on the screen. If you would like to see the name of these as you set or, uh, shoot them, there's a gear on the right side here. You can go there, and under this measure tab, you can turn on point name. You can also turn on point code if you want. I'm just trying to teach you and show you what's capable. So there's point name, point code. You don't have to have them on. Sometimes it's nice as you're laying them out to see what they are. So there we go. I got a point shot. Let's move on to one more across the street here because I want to show you an option here, but I also want to teach you that if I go to another one, but I want to leave it the same name, if I go back into the roller stuck in the mud, you'll see that it's uh, sewer board one. The reason for that is SiteWorks will not allow you, just like Earthworks, 
to have multiple uh, identical names. So we can't have hundreds and hundreds of just the exact same sewer board one sewer board. So it's going to be sewer board one, sewer board two, blah, 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 blah. It's going to go ahead and we can come out and we can record it. The next option I want to show you is if you want to actually have a picture of it, which you don't necessarily need to do for things like this, but I'm just showing you if you go back into that roller stuck in the mud, we can create a report to store as we record this. So if we check that box and hit accept, it's going to allow us to record the point but it's now going to give us a report title if you needed to. So we could just call it a sewer, sewer lat. You can give it comments. But here's the thing that I really wanted to show you is this TSC7 and the T7s and the other ones have cameras on the backside. So where it says photo, I can take up to three different pictures of this now. So I can go to the camera option right there now that I've recorded the point, And I can set back with my pole and actually angle the camera down and hit um, next and it actually recorded a point or excuse me a picture of the point that I shot on the ground right there and I can record it I can take up to three or four I can check this box to open file location if I want I can do point information I can put a PDF header whatever it may be this would be really helpful for laterals out in the street but if you like it you can go ahead and hit save and it's associated a picture with that and the reason why i like this is because if you ever shoot something with your pole but then pull your phone out and take a shot of it you're never going to be able to really match those up very well this actually takes a time stamp uh northing easting where it was taken and it saves that picture with it so you've got three different shots on here so that's the basics of taking a single shot once again it's in your measure type point name code um and at that point, you could change it to a surface if you needed to make a surface, but that'll be for another video. So thank you for watching this Site Tech Intermountain SiteWorks video on recording a single point.